if you're a car owner and you either want to have a dash cam or have a dash cam, this is a problem that many of you face. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so first and foremost, with these dash cams comes this little power adapter. And at the end of it is a little USB cable that plugs right in right there. We plug the power inverter into the cigarette port. We'll also plug the power into the dash cam. And we can see the dash cam is on. And based upon that little red blinking light, it is recording. Now, here's the problem that many of us face. Right now, this car has one port, which means if I want to charge my phone, I'm out of luck here. So what most people do is they get a little adapter, which gives them some USB ports. Now, I already tried previously to connect a USB wire up through the car, as you can see right here, into the dash cam. Now, what happens is the dash cam goes into PC mode. It, 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 it has power, but it won't automatically record and do its thing because it thinks it's connected to a PC while it's connected to the USB. Let me actually show you that. Okay, I just hooked up the dash cam to the uh, actual USB port and you can see it is no longer recording. It thinks it's connected to a PC. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, it's very simple to do, requires little work, and it works perfectly. And when everything is said and done, you'll be able to run a standard USB wire to your dash cam and you won't have to deal with this BS where you have to use the factory dongle. Why should I dedicate my only cigarette lighter port to just my dash cam? I mean, I have a phone. I need to charge it. So stay tuned and find out how. Now to do this fix for your dash cam, you're going to need a few basic tools. Nothing major though. First, you'll need a USB cable. Next, you'll need a little box cutter or razor blade. Now, you'll need some electrical tape. And last but not least, you'll need some form of cutting tool, like a pair of scissors or even a nail clipper. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your USB cable and pick a section of the wire to work with. Preferably, a part of the wire that won't be in view. Somewhere in the middle is best. Now to start this repair, you're going to take your USB cable and your razor blade and cut a small one to two inch groove into the wire sheathing along the length of the wire. Now take your time with this and be careful. Try not to cut yourself. Remember, wire is cheap, fingers are not. Once you've cut the groove into the sheathing of the wire, Peel the sheathing back and pull out the inside contents of the wire. You will have wire strands around the inside wire which you will want to simply work to one side without cutting. From there you will see a tin foil like wrapping around the wires inside. Peel this back and expose the wires inside. Now you should see four wires. A black wire, red wire, green wire and white wire. Two wires are for power, and two wires are for data. The data wires are what's causing the dash cam to think it's connected to the PC, and simply cutting them will correct this. What you want to do is cut the white wire, and then cut the green wire. Once the green wire and white wire is cut, all that should remain is the black wire, red wire, and wire strands. At this point, the hard part is over. What you want to do now is try to pack all the wires and wire strands back into the outer shielding. The neater you do this, the better the finished product will look. So take your time and get everything packed back in. Once you've repacked the wire, grab your electrical tape and cut off a small strip so we can reseal the wire. Start at one end and wrap it tightly around the wire. And with that, you're done. Your new modified wire is now ready for your dash cam. Plug it into your car and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. And as always, if you like what you see and you want more of these types of videos, do me a favor, like, 
comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It, and I'll see you next time.